Hello and welcome back to our tutorial series. Today we are going to go over a quick Pori script tutorial where we're, where we're going to talk about giving the Pokedex and upgrading to the national decks. Um, so we are going to pull from the actual Little Root Towns, uh, the, the Professor Birch's Lab, the original one. Um, we're going to look at the scripts here. I'm not actually going to go through them here, but uh, if you want to look to see how the game normally does it, it's just going to be in the regular Professor Birch's Labs scripts.inc if you're, you know, if you haven't converted it uh, to the Pori. Um, but here we're going to do pretty much everything that happens there, so you can just follow along here if you want to. Um, so to start with, we need to obviously give the uh, player the Pokédex after the um, after they get their Pokémon. Um, so I have written this init initiate Pokédex sequence script um, just because I want it to look good. So normally in Porymap, how we have it set up is you walk in, the professor talks to you, he tells you to pick a Pokemon, then he walks back here and he stands here and then you go and pick a Pokemon. So now after you pick a Pokemon, I want to freeze the player wherever they are and then I want Professor Birch to either come up next to them and talk to them or just turn if he's right here and talk to you um, and he's going to give you the Pokedex. Um, now to do that, we are just going to need a couple movement scripts. So we need to put them inside of a, uh, you know, its own script. So we're going to create this initiate Pokedex sequence script. Now we're going to call this in the give starter at the end of it. So if we, you know, if we choose the starter, whichever starter we choose, we're going to set our flags, set our bars, you know, give the Pokemon, let you name it. And then at the end here, this is still inside of this if here. It's inside of this if. But after all of these things play, after it calls these, it'll come back into the program. And then no matter what, no matter which three of these options, it'll still run this code at the end before it breaks out. Um, so we're going to close message just to make sure the message box is closed so that uh, Professor Birch isn't walking back um, or walking to you with the message box still on the screen. Um, and then we're going to call this script that we're going to write. You know, we don't have to add it in the Pori map anywhere because it's just being called from a script that's already being called from a script that's being called from an event object. Um, so we don't need to add anything else into Pori map. But here we're going to start our script. We're going to lock. We're going to delay 20 seconds just to give it a little bit of time. It looks a little bad if you move immediately over, um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. We're going to apply a movement to the player, which is just a turning movement. I'll go down to it in a second. Um, but it literally is just turn right, um, face right is the face underscore right. Then depending on whether or not this bar temp zero we were using before to determine which Pokeball we were using so that we could set the flag of it, well also we can just use it for well which Pokeball are we standing at. So if you know we're setting the flag for Pokeball one then we obviously know that um, this is Pokeball one. So then we apply this move, we apply move ball one, move ball two, and move ball three to the professor, which is object four. That's what the four is, is the professor's object ID inside of Porymap. Um, you know, here, four. Um, so we have this far, if you don't know, if you haven't heard about that, go back and watch our last Pori script video because we talk about it. Um, it's just a temp bar that we've taken over to do the uh, more complicated or simpler in ways to shorten our uh, script into one instead of nine. Um, but anyway, so we apply these different movements, then we wait for them to finish, we delay again, and then we call give Pokédex, which is the script that's going to give the Pokédex. I'm going to go down to the movement scripts, they're all really simple. Move ball one, he just walks twice to the left. Move ball two, he walks once to the left, and move ball three, he faces left. And we turn right. So if you're here, he's going to walk twice. If you're here, he's going to walk once. If you're here, he's just going to turn. And then you're also going to turn. So pretty simple, pretty easy. This give Pokedex script is the you know, like the main chunk of what we're going to be talking about. And it should be pretty quick. So we're going to lock. We're going to display a message box, which is going to be take Pokedex, which I have just put down here. I kind of copied it from the, you know, the original. Um, which is why you see this, but I don't think it actually adds anything. I still don't know what that's for. If you do, let me know. But uh, this is just going to display the name and say like here, you should have this. Um, so you're going to display the message box, take Pokédex, play a fanfare for an item, 
display a message saying you received the item, wait for the fanfare, close the message. Now, we set the flag, flag, sys, pokedex, get. This is important, this makes it pop up in your start menu so that you can actually look at your pokedex. If you don't set this, you won't be able to look at your pokedex, you'll have it, but you won't be able to look at it. Um, you need to set this flag. Um, set, well, you obviously have to do the rest to get the pokedex as well, but anyway, you need to set this flag. Flag adventure started. Now, I actually set this before in this Little Root Town flag here, but uh, this Little Root Town rival battle over script in the past, if you watch that video and remember that, um, but I've moved it because this is where it's supposed to be. I was just testing stuff and I put it there, but it sets, uh, it, it tells the game that you've gotten the pokedex for more, uh, for some script related reasons, specifically I think the main thing is in Old Ale Town, some of the stuff in Old Ale Town is based on this flag, but specifically the like footprints guy that won't let you leave, that checks this flag here. Um, it lets you it lets you leave if you have uh, checked this flag. Obviously you can just remove that guy out altogether, and this flag isn't exactly necessary if you remove everything related to it, but if you want to keep that guy there, then you need to set this flag at this point, because you obviously want to leave once you have the Pokedex. Now, here, this is one of the main specials, this is the main part of it actually, is set unlocked Pokedex flags. It's a special, so that means it's some C code that we can look at if we, you know, highlight this and go into our search bar, but we're not going to. Um, so we're just going to use this special, and this is just going to set uh, some, set, set, it's going to set some code that lets us access the Pokedex now that it's in our start menu. You need to do both of them. Um, and then we are going to set this flag flag received Pokedex from Birch, which is just a flag that we can use to uh, determine, it's just another flag about the Pokedex. Um, you know, we can again look in the code to see where it's necessary. You can take it out if you want to, but you have to make sure to remove all the references to it. Um, we don't need all of these flags if you want to combine them all into one, just this flag says Pokedex get, that's fine too. Um, but again, you have to remove the references. Set var, bar cable club tutorial state one. This has to do with some of the, you know, connection stuff. Uh, you should put it in just in case, because some things get buggy when some things are changed. I just put it in because it was in the original Little Root Town uh, Professor Birch's Lab script, um, but I'm not even entirely clear on what it does. I haven't cared enough to follow it back. I just add it because I want to emulate what the game did because they did it without glitches, at least, you know, obviously for the most part. But, um, we are just going to put it in just to uh, emulate what the actual developers of the game did. So next we are going to display a message box that's just going to have the explanation. This is actually from uh, the game's file, so it's not in this file, but there's a separate text file. Um, I don't know where it is, but uh, either way, well maybe it's down here at the bottom. So it's, uh, it's one of these. Um, and you can call these scripts um, that are in this Pori file and in you know the regular .ing file. You can call them um, from outside of the outside of that at that file if you want to. So we're just going to pull this text from there, so we don't have to actually write it all out inside of this file as well. Um, then we're going to display another message box that's just going to say also take these with you, and we're going to use give item, which we talked about. Uh, briefly in our Pokemite video. Um, we're just going to give five Pokeballs to the player, you know, that's kind of what happens normally. And we're going to display this message. I'm using the format command this time so I don't have to put it out separately. So this will format this into a smaller message that actually fits inside of our text box. box. It'll put the slash n's and slash l's and slash p's or whatever it needs. Then we wait message release return. Simple. I probably talked for way longer than I needed to to describe such a simple script. We just set some flags and uh, run a special and that's pretty much it. All the rest is fanfare, it's text that uh, just makes it look pretty. To upgrade to the national decks, it's just as simple. We lock, we play a fanfare, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. We display a message, this is again a message from this file that uh, just talks about the national decks because I didn't feel like writing my own. We wait for the message, we wait for the fanfare, we set the flag for national decks, and then we run the special enable national Pokedex, which again is C code that lets us, the, the, you know, it does a bunch of stuff inside of the data that allows us to um, use the national decks. 
well, not that much stuff, but still. It does some stuff that we can't do outright in PowerScript easily. Um, then we close the message, we release, we return back to whatever we were, were calling it from, which in this case, so this give Pokédex runs right after we pick our starter, but this upgrade national decks, I have it set to run um, after, so in the new Professor event Birch script, so this is just Professor Birch's script here, um, if you if the flag that says you have already gotten your Pokemon is set, so this is the stuff that happens if we don't, if we haven't picked the Pokemon, he lets you change your region. But otherwise, before we just said take care of your Pokemon, but now we're going to split it up. We're going to say that if you've gotten your Pokédex and you don't have your National Dex, then you're going to be allowed to upgrade to the National Dex. You can obviously set more flags like, and you have beaten all eight gyms or whatever. Um, things like that, but we are just going to let you do it right away so we can look at the result. Um, so do you want to upgrade the Pokédex? Yes, no, yes. Call Upgrade National Dex, which is that script that we just went over, else take care of your Pokémon. Else outside of that if, just take care of your Pokémon. And that just lets us call that script as well so we can enable our National Dex. You can enable the National Dex automatically in the Give Pokédex if you want to have them straight from the start. You can just copy these two lines into here and uh, uh you know that works as well if you want that to be how your game does it you can do a lot of things now actually editing the pokedex themselves that is not what this video is for so i'm sorry if you've been listening this whole time and that's what you're trying to find out um we have talked a bit about the pokedex files there's a couple of them most of them are called pokedex so you can look for them um but you know, it gets a little tedious when we're doing things like that, so I haven't covered it yet. It's not necessarily hard, you just have to reorder a lot of constants throughout the game files. And, um, yeah, there's not that much of a need. But obviously, if you're adding a bunch of fake mon and taking out Pokemon and you want to reorder the Pokédex, eventually you're going to want to do it. And I'll try to cover it eventually, but we've got a lot of more important stuff to cover first. Anyway, let's look at what the actual result of this is. So we actually have it compiled here. So we are talking to our professor. He walks back there. Now I am going to switch it over to Kanto so that I can pick a Pokemon. Receive Squirtle. Give a nickname? No. He walks to us. He displays this first text message. Here, Colin, I ordered this for my research. That's this text message here in this message box that we wrote down here. Um, this Pokedex, blah, 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 Colin received the Pokedex, you know, we have caller player here received the Pokedex, and then we, you know, it played the fanfare, but we didn't hear it because I have the sound turned off because it sounds bad in the recording. Um, we set our flags, we set our special, um, he's talking about the rest of the stuff, my kid may goes everywhere with it, that's actually inside of this, uh, this message box here. So when he's done with this, also take these, message box be default, obtain the Pokeballs. So I got five Pokeballs, call and put them away. These allow you to catch Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's it. Do you want to upgrade to the National Dex? Now we can ask him. I let this run out, so that's actually something that you should uh, make sure not to copy directly. <laughs> um, where is the upgrade National Dex message, Little Red Town? Oh, that's up here. Do you want to upgrade to the national decks here? We can just type format if we want, if we don't want to edit it manually. Um, and that will fix our problem there. But anyway, um, this will obviously upgrade our national decks. Take care of your Pokemon if we keep asking them. So if we go to our Pokedex now, you can see it's there. And you can also see it's the National Dex, because we can see our Squirtle. I should have showed it before, it wouldn't have showed our Squirtle, it would have just been a completely empty Pokédex. Um, if you, you know, had Squirtle as your only Pokémon, but were able to look at the Pokédex, which is, uh, you know, kind of uh, weird, obviously, but, you know, if you don't have the National Dex, you can't see a Pokémon that's from the National Dex and the Pokédex. Um, but that's all that we are going to talk about for our Pokédex and, and uh, National Dex video. Um, it was pretty simple Pori script. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment um, or ask it in our Discord server. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one.